All right, hi there, and welcome back to Valley Por Vida. Thanks again so much for sticking with us, and I'm glad you did because your trivia time answer has arrived. We've asked you, uh, before the break rather, to pick out the one statement on screen that is false. And if you're a coffee lover, then you probably think coffee is, quote, the goat. You know, the greatest of all time, which is ideal since the answer actually has to do with goats. I hope you pick the third statement regarding goats are credited with the discovery of caffeine in coffee beans. That's right. Legend has it as shepherds long ago noticed the effects of caffeine when they first saw their goats becoming frisky and even, you know, appearing to be dancing after eating coffee berries. One thing led to another and now it's become a staple drink for most Americans today and probably always will be. Science says consuming coffee actually has so many health benefits, but of course, as with any beverage, you've got to indulge responsibly and reasonably so that you can go ahead and be safe. There's lots of info on this topic online, so you can do more research uh, at your leisure, but make sure that you're navigating the web safely while you do so. This uh, applies especially for the kiddos. Everyone should be safe while navigating the internet, no matter where you are. And we wondered, do you think that certain areas or even specific states could be more dangerous online web surfing than others? Well, with the recent return of students nationwide to the classroom, CenturyLink quote wanted to share some exciting news for us Texans. It turns out, according to their third annual report called Safest States for Kids Online, our home state of Texas ranks as the seventh safest for kids online. That's top 10, which is super cool for the Lone Star State. And we went ahead and spoke with an expert to learn all about it. Yeah, so with students nationwide going back to school just last month, my team at Centrally Quote wanted to find out which states are safest for kids online. So we decided to conduct our third annual report. And this year we had some exciting news that Texas ranked as the seventh safest state for kids online. Um, unfortunately, the Lone Star State's rankings have gone down slightly from last year when it was the sixth safest state for kids online. But overall, Texas is still one of the leading states in the nation for children's online safety. So what makes Texas safe for, safe for kids online? Um, Texas has 12 laws that pertain to cyberbullying and sexting, which is actually the second highest rate in the nation. Texas also only has 1.13 malware victims per 100,000 people. And that's a rate that's both below the national average and the average for the top 10 states, which is pretty exciting. So in terms of takeaways, um, I guess my tips would be more for parents, just that it's important to always know what your kids are doing online and keep track of the social media accounts that they might have access to. Keep in mind that kids could potentially create false birthdays to meet minimum age requirements. And just make sure that your kids don't have access to your bank account or credit card information and supervise them when they're filling out forms online. To find out all of the upcoming reports that we're releasing, it's best to check centurylinkquote.com slash resources, and you'll find out all the information on what makes Texas the seventh safest state for kids online. Turns out Texas is very serious about protecting our children, so much so that our state has 12 laws that pertain to cyberbullying and sexting, which is the second highest rate in the nation. Zoe's team also says that of all the top 10 states, Texas had one of the highest rates of internet crimes against children, but is still below the national average. Plus, Texas only has 1.13 malware victims for 100,000 uh, people, a rate that's below both the national average and the average of the top 10 states. Now, I know it's a lot of info to take in, but you can read all of the details of the study at centurylinkquote.com, plus check out some of their other studies and findings. It's like they say, everything's bigger in Texas, and that includes our desire to keep our children safe in any capacity. You know what else the Lone Star State has that we're very, very proud of for birthing, even if other states may have it now? Whataburger, and boy do we love our Whataburger. Maybe it's the way it tastes with every juicy bite, maybe it's how quick and convenient it is to pick up, or maybe it's the way the friendly, um, the, 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 their friendly staff rather, greets us when we walk in. But Whataburger, since conception over in Corpus Christi back in 1950, has long been close to our hearts. They're also a business that cares deeply about people across the nation and locally in our Rio Grande Valley community too. Following its first ever system-wide fundraiser benefiting Feeding America, they gave over 28 
thousand dollars raised to the, to the valley, uh, in the valley rather, to the food bank of the RGB to help fight hunger in our community. Actually, the local gift is part of more than three hundred thousand dollars that their customers donated across its ten state footprint during the company's Orange Spirit Week celebration of its get this seventy first anniversary. They continue to celebrate their legacy by giving back to the community, and this particular donation was all a part of a Whataburger Feeding America Success, a program op uh, operating at the intersection of food insecurity and education with a focus on helping students at all levels of school achieve their goals and their dreams. It is so, so good to hear stories like this because, they not, uh, because not only does it benefit students across the beautiful country, but right here in the Rio Grande Valley. And those two photos that you saw were taken in far uh, and the list goes on and on. So we went ahead and spoke with a representative of their team to learn all about it. Yeah, so Waterburger recently donated over $28,000 to the food bank here at the Rio Grande Valley. Um, we were able to host a, a unit-wide fundraiser and all dollars collected were uh, kept here locally for the food bank. So we're really excited about that. We're really thankful to our very loyal customers. They're very generous. They're great with us. They were able to go out there and support um, this great cause. And in return, we were able to give this money back to the, to the RGB Food Bank. Um, they were very appreciative. They were very thankful because they were gonna be able to provide so many meals to, to our families here locally. So Orange Spirit Week um, was created to celebrate our 71st anniversary. So um, we have our special cause, which is called Feeding Student Success. Um, during this cause, we support teachers, we support students um, achieve their goals, um, and of course, uh, hunger awareness. And so this is, these are our very important pillars within our company. And um, we just really wanted to give back during this whole week, which is when we, we uh, did the fundraiser and um, we were able to raise over $300,000 uh, system-wide for uh, various uh, food banks across the, over our 10 state footprint. There you go. You can check out stories.waterburger.com to learn all about the details of this program and for more info on how you can lend a hand in their mission. A big shout out to all who donated for students in the effort, uh, which actually brings us to our social media shout out of the day. All right, well, I recently posted this photo that of Valley Por Vida's at Made Films. Uh, he took this during one of our Zoom meetings with our team, and viewer at Joshua Robella's commented, quote, crazy how Zoom is the norm now, and I gotta tell you, we couldn't agree more. It definitely seems that working and attending classes online is the new normal, and while it is something to get used to, it's kinda nice to know that technology has taken us this far, so I'm grateful. All right, well, that's all of our time for now. We want to thank you again so much for joining us today, and be sure to tune in again next time because we'll have a lot more in store for you on Valley Por Vida. We'll see you then.